Hey friends, today we are going to be doing a private VIP tour here at Walt Disney World. We're going to be visiting all four parks and we're going to have a tour guide that's going to help us skip all the lines so that we can ride as many rides as we want. And I thought it'd be fun to make a little video showing you what it's like to plan a VIP tour and also giving you all the information about it and just having a beautiful Disney kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're going to start our VIP tour day here at Epcot and whenever you book one of these VIP tours you basically set the time and the place you want to meet up. They can pick you up at the resort or they can pick you up in the parks or you can just meet inside the parks and that's what we're going to do today. A VIP tour costs as much as $850 per hour and you have to buy a minimum of seven hours and that does not include your theme park admission so you actually have to have a theme park ticket as well. You get to invite up to 10 guests, 10 total guests and like I said it covers all your transportation in and out of the parks. You get to skip the security line once you officially check in. So that's why we wanted to start here at Epcot because if they pick you up at the resort I think the clerk like starts then so you kind of want to get the most of it and here is our vip tour group for the day travis and promise we got ryan for love the theme parks ali Kristen, right down main street sean jojo yep serena ray and then glenn our tour guide that's gonna be a fun day and i think you know since we're at epcot we should start at guardians guardians of the galaxy let's do it yeah look he's ready <laughs> On the tour itself, we are going to be going to a lot of backstage areas and I'm not allowed to film, like nobody's allowed to film in backstage areas, but I'm going to brief you guys on as much as we can. We have a private vehicle that's going to transport us in between the parks. So the reason we decided to come here to Epcot is because we plan on ending at Magic Kingdom. So therefore we can use the monorail to get back to our vehicles here. And uh, once you check in and go through security, like the first time, then that's all you have to do. After that after that you just show up like you just go in backstage areas and go to wherever you want to go it's really awesome that we get to do guardians without having to get a virtual queue or anything like that we get to just walk on but i didn't find out that if you ride guardians on a vip tour you only get to do it once you only get to do it once and the same thing with rise of the resistance all the other rides you can ride as much as you want except for rise of the resistance and guardians of the galaxy Yep. Thanks. Cool. That was pretty cool. I like it. I can't help see the galaxy. I'm excited just for the AC in here. It is very hot out today. Super hot out. What's everyone's favorite song? I mean, I get rude. Oh, rule the world. That's my favorite song. I want September. September. Yeah. I'm hoping for a surprise this time. Maybe like wheels on the bus or something. The Just wheels like, on the bus. <laughs> Does a VIP tour get us a song choice? Can we? <laughs> That'd be fancy. <laughs> Here we go. First ride of the day. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Look at we got everybody all booked up here. <laughs> here we go. Fingers crossed. Tears for fears. Tears for fears. I'm so excited. What a way to start the day. I'm so excited. <laughs> this wakes you up. This wakes you up. Yep. Rock it. Well, okay. I walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we need to stop this unusually large man. And you're like, we don't. Good luck. Yeah. 
I love it. As <laughs> soon as we get off, Glenn is waiting for us. Oh, what a time though. I loved it. <laughs> now that we got to do Guardians of the Galaxy, while we're over here, I think we're gonna head straight to Test Track. It's definitely a hot day, gotta wear the sunblock. Can I get some of that sunblock? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Give, me a, give, me a, give me a squirt. Shot. I thought you were gonna rub Thank it you. I know, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. <laughs> we, our VIP tour guy gave us some lemon scented moist hollowettes and they're coming in handy. They're, they smell amazing. Don't they smell amazing? Look at You're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. Nice and cool and refreshing. In between riding rides, your tour guide will actually go get beverages and ice cold waters for you. So we're gonna go ride Test Track, and when we get off, Glenn's gonna have some uh, nice ice cold waters for us so we can cool down. And then, since we're right in this area, once we get done with Test Track, we're gonna hop in our vehicle behind Test Track. We're gonna go backstage and drive around World Showcase, like backstage drive around, and I am so excited for that. Here we go. Basically, you're in control the whole entire day. So you can go wherever you want. If we want to leave and go to Animal Kingdom next, we could. You know what I mean? Like, it's so awesome. And the fact that you don't have to go through security again or use, like, Disney transportation, that's what makes it the best is because it's very quick and snappy. And they drive you right to the attraction itself. So if we want to go to Animal Kingdom or ride Flight of Passage, they're going to drive us to the Flight of Passage, like, show building. And I am so excited to do that. And here is our trusty mode of transportation for today hopping in our car hyperspectral imaging in progress calculating total enviro impact I come out that first doors there it gets so bright the camera just gets blinded but I love test track look at this perfect thank you ah just what we needed well it is pretty fancy when you get off a ride and you have a nice cold bottle of water waiting for you I like that I feel really fancy today now that we got done with Test Track, I think we're gonna head and go ride Soren. But instead of walking over to Soren, which, you know, it's probably just like a five, 10 minute walk over to Soren, I think we're gonna go backstage, hop in a vehicle, and drive all the way around World Showcase so we can see some backstage access, and uh, then go ride Soren. Doing these tours, one of my favorite things is the fact that you get to see the backstage area. Like, you get to see areas that you would never be able to see unless you're like a cast member or a vendor so that's why it's going to be cool to be able to drive around the outside of world showcase to basically like commute over to the other side of the park we have a 15 passenger van parked right on the back side of test track so we're going to be able to see some cool behind the scenes stuff but like i said once we get off stage we can't uh, have the cameras out so we have to put it away but we're going to be exiting right over here right on the side of test track Anytime you're able to walk past a sign that says cast members only, I just feel pretty fancy. You guys ready? Next stop, Soren. I'm so excited. We're going, We're going backstage. backstage. 
This is going to be our transportation for this evening. We're going to take this 15 passenger van back and forth throughout the parks. And it's very fancy, depending on how many is in your VIP tour is uh, like what kind of vehicle you get. I know they have Suburbans and a lot of other things, but since we have about 10 people, we're going to use this big bad boy. And now we are in Soren. Wow, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, we came in right, like, right through those doors. Right through these doors right here. We just walked in. That is so crazy to me. It blows my mind. It was so cool driving around the outside of World Showcase. We got to see all of the festival boots, all of the boats. So many cool things. I wish I could show you, like I said, but you, I mean, it's just a, it's a known thing. You can't film backstage, but it was so awesome to be able to be back there. And we drove up right to the show buildings and just walked in the back door. And now we're gonna go ride Soren. Here we go. Love it. <laughs> Most of you guys know Soren is one of my all time favorite rides. And I love coming in here, and I think we're gonna try to ride B1. B1. Oh, always. B1. <laughs> well, we wanted to do B1, but I realized we're, we're, yeah, it's still good. We're doing B2. As long as we're in the middle and we don't got the slanted Eiffel Tower, that's all that matters. Imagineers intended for people to sit in your supposed to see people's feet. That's true. But what about the people that take their shoes and socks off? That adds to the smells. Like you tickle them. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> so we're in the tower. Are you guys ready? You ready for takeoff? All right. You're gonna have to take off those precious beauties right there. <laughs> I think after Soren, we might actually hop over to Animal Kingdom or drive over to Animal Kingdom and do Flight of Passage. Uh oh. Ready to take off. just got done with Soren, which I love Soren. It always gets me emotional. It's my mom's favorite ride. It's time to head backstage again, but this time we're not going backstage just to Epcot. We're gonna park hop to Animal Kingdom. We're gonna drive right there. So it's gonna be really awesome. We're going back out the way we came in, right through these doors here. Come on out. <laughs> All right, now we are back in our van and on our way over to Animal Kingdom. Are you guys excited? Little flight of passage, and it's so awesome. This van is huge. It's a 15 passenger van. You all right up there, Mama? Oh, I'm, Mama. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> We're figuring it all out. Get in. <laughs> We're picking up a hitchhiker. <laughs> Right there is Pandora. You can actually see the show building, and that's where we're going to be parking. Is right behind there. And just like that, we are in Animal Kingdom, right in Pandora. Isn't that crazy? We teleport it. <laughs> that's insane. It's so crazy how just like literally two minutes ago we were riding Soren and now we are in another theme park. We are in Animal Kingdom and I think one of the coolest things about doing a VIP tour is not having to go through security, not having to touch in. You don't have to touch in like anywhere except for the first initial visit and then you just actually hop around. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna be making our way over to Flight of Passage first. Of course, that's gonna be the first thing we do when we come to Animal Kingdom. And it's so awesome. We walked in right next to the bathrooms here. So we came in through this way. So it's really awesome. We pulled right up to Pandora. We pulled right up to Pandora. Yeah. After we get done riding Flight of Passage, I think we're gonna actually get some lunch. And being in Animal Kingdom, I love Saltuli Canteen. So we're gonna do that. When you're on a VIP tour, I would recommend to do quick service because it's gonna be a lot faster. And you're on the clock, like this is your time that you're paying for by the hour. So you don't wanna be sitting around a restaurant or anything like that. And also I suggest using mobile ordering. You know what I mean? So we're gonna ride Flight of Passage and then as we're leaving, we're gonna mobile order our food at Saltuli Canteen so it's ready as soon as we get there. Here we go, rolling into Flight of Passage. Everyone's got their phones out, mobile ordering for Saltuli Canteen. This is the way, this is how you do it. <laughs> I think I'm definitely gonna be getting the combination, beef and chicken. Can you smell that beautiful bromaine? Sure. Oh, it smells amazing, doesn't it? And look at that view. Look at that. All that beautiful bean footage. Amazing. I haven't rode Flight of Passage in such a long time. Because it's usually such a long line, it's almost impossible to get a lightning lane. But today's our day. I love the smell of Flight of Passage. The only thing, I, the reason I like soaring a little bit more is because you don't have to wear glasses on soaring. I think we're here, guys. Oh. <laughs> We're here. Someone's ready to fly. The big banshee guy. Banshee guy. <laughs> that does not look anything like me. I love it when it tickles my belly. <laughs> I love it. that we just got done with Flight of Passage. We hit the I am here, prepare my order. So we're gonna go get something to eat at South Tule Canteen while we're here. I feel like this is one of the best quick service locations and I love it. <laughs> now we can sit down and relax a little bit. I think we had a table already. Wow, look at them cooking up the chicken. Hi friends, <laughs> cooking up the chicken. My order's ready. Oh, uh, yep. Five Mine's five zero nine nine. Oh, thank you. Glenn is such an awesome tour guide. He went and got silverware for us and napkins. And here's the food. I ended up getting the roast beef and chicken combination with the red potato hash, which is a must. And also a green grog's ale. I love it. This is, like I said, my favorite quick service meal. Just the roast beef on its own. I can just come here and get the roast beef, but add the little sweet potato, I mean not sweet, potato uh, mash or the uh, sweet potato rash. The sweet potato rash. <laughs> I don't want the sweet potato rash. Anyway, it's very delicious. <laughs> it seems like everybody got a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything different. We've got some noodles over here. 
We got some cheeseburger pods. I hear that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Allie, of course, she's got the gluten-free. Allie's all about the gluten-free, and the whole table's just here. We're all just enjoying. Yeah. Now that we got done with lunch, which was amazing. I love eating at Sal Tuli Canteen. I think we're gonna hop over to Hollywood Studios. We only did Flight of Passage here at Animal Kingdom, but there's a lot more things we could do over at Hollywood Studios, and uh, I feel like that's like a good thing to do. I mean, you could do whatever you wanna do on the tour. Today, I'm really, like, I really wanna go for all four parks. So we wanna make sure that we do it, and I booked the minimum of just seven hours. So we only have seven hours on the tour, so we have to make it count. I'll tell you what, time goes by super fast when you're doing these VIP tours. You think you have all the time in the world just because you're not waiting in line, but you still go through pre-shows and stuff like that. And so far, we're already at, I think, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, so we've already been through half the VIP tour, and we've only done two parks. I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? It goes by so fast. All right, we're going to roll out to Hollywood now, going back out the way we came in through these very rustic looking doors. Authorized personnel only. No cameras past this point. No past this point. We're making our way over to Hollywood Studios now and we're gonna be pulling up behind the Tower of Terror, going like right behind the Tower of Terror near Rock and Roller Coaster and that's where we're gonna enter the park. And I'm excited to ride Tower of Terror. Like, <laughs> I'm excited Sorry. too. Man. I like I like I the moments that I'm really loving all the moments that we've spent inside this van here. It's, <laughs> it's been, been pretty yeah, it's been pretty amazing. Yeah. Like there's been a lot of eventful things. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> very very More fun. Than you know. <laughs> Two. Are we gonna be free falling? No, we're, free falling. we're going to Tower of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> and I'm free. <laughs> Free falling! <laughs> and now we are at Hollywood Studios. This has been pretty amazing so far. <laughs> it is so crazy. We literally pulled up to the back side of the Tower of Terror. We literally pulled up to the back side. It's like the eighth wonder of the world. The back side of the Tower of Terror. <laughs> and of course, that's where we're heading to now straight to the Tower of Terror. Like, <laughs> it's gotta be my first stop. I love it here, honestly. You know, there's a lot of great rides here at Hollywood Studios, but Tower's still gonna be my all-time favorite. What? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. What do you think, Rise? What, what would be your all-time favorite movie? Mickey and Minis? I knew that. Wow. No, I'm all, I'm all Tower of Terror. It has my heart. I love the theme. I think we're gonna have to dance and celebrate the fact we made it to Hollywood Studios. The most important thing about doing a VIP tour is to have fun. So, a little dancing. Everyone loves dancing. Here we go, Tower of Terror. I think this is our fifth ride, isn't it? Well, yeah. Not mine. Yeah. This is my second ride. Thanks. Always a good side. Woo. <laughs> I still think it's just so awesome how you just walk right up the lightning lane. Like, uh, I love it. Oh, good to see you again. Oh, yeah, I lost my wallet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was hoping that you lost it. Yeah. Uh, it yeah, it would have been all yours. It would have been $2 richer. I lost my wallet last night. We were like, we were like, so I guess you're not going to come back. Yep. <laughs> Recently, I have to say, Tower of Terror has been one of the hardest rides to actually ride. Either the wait time is over 100 minutes or there's no lightning lanes available. So it's really awesome to be able to ride it with a VIP tour guide because it's almost the only way to do it without having to wait, like I said, over 100 minutes.
We got the front row. Everyone all nice and tidy? All right, nice and cozy. Allie's probably gonna be screaming a lot. Yes. I can already tell. 100%. Look, oh, we got the whole front row. Yeah. This is fancy. <laughs> an awesome Tower of Terror ride and now I think we're gonna go ride Rock and Roller Coaster since we're doing a VIP tour it'd be nice if we can get some backstage passes and maybe meet the band you know do something cool and after that maybe hop to Magic Kingdom so we can make sure we got four parks done I, I'm having the best time ever though just hanging out with friends enjoying a fun Disney day and hopefully the rain stays away looks a little bit cloudy out but fingers crossed it's so funny, they're actually playing Bon Jovi over here at Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. <laughs> Are you gonna ride this? I am. Oh, good, good. It's kind of funny. Probably, I would think, the most intense ride at Disney. Everybody's gonna be riding it now. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Does anybody got their magic bands on? Maddox, there I am! I'm the headliner today! Nathan from Kissimmee! Is that you? That's me! Really? Yeah! Sure? That's me! Was Tom. Oh, you're good! <laughs> That's me though! That is really me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? No. no. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? No, Send them all with you? Yeah. 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 Some backstage passes? Wow. I was not expecting that. That sounds great. Oh. Whoa! This is what we're about to ride. This one's okay for you? Yeah. This one's okay? This one's okay for me. I think I'll be okay. Three, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Glenn's right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> He's excited. Look at you. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to take this guy off. I'm bald. Here comes our stretch limo. <laughs> Our yeah, I know, right? It's our VIP limo. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I really feel like we got the VIP experience on here. Backstage passes and everything. That truly was a VIP private party right there. <laughs> they rolled out the red carpet and everything for us. That's another ride that really gets you pumped up for the day. We've been hitting all the heavy hitters today. Like, I feel like we've been doing a lot of the thrill rides, except for Soren. I mean, Soren is kind of a thrill ride, but to me, I just did it because I love it. And now I think we're going to head back and we're going to head to Magic Kingdom four parts one day, doing all the big popular rides. I love it. Glenn ended up riding with us this time, doing a uh, rock and roller coaster. But once we got off, he grabbed us some more waters, some high quality H2O. All right, Magic Kingdom time, so that means we have to go backstage again. I just love going backstage. Like I said, if I could show you guys that, it would be the greatest thing ever. The fact that we get this close to the Tower of Terror is just so amazing. We're going back. We're going through this way. Are we allowed to? Yeah. Okay. I invite all of you. 
when we head to Magic Kingdom, which we're doing now, we don't actually like go through TTC. We actually drive down the other side of Main Street USA. We come in a back way. So how awesome is that? There's the contemporary. We're actually gonna be driving in right next to Space Mountain. Look at this. I love this so much. Thirty minutes to. And you're taking us on uh, Tron, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to Tron. There's that blue building right there. That's about as close as Nobody knows. All right, we're back. Back. And now we are in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Crazy, right? Magic Kingdom. Uh -oh. oh, and we're getting. Sash. We got some treats. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I love it. Nice. Oh, this is too good. I'm all about the Mickey Premium bars. But wow, I can't believe we're here. We did it. Hey guys, we did it. Four parks. Yeah, we did it. Four parks. That's true. I've never. This is my first time doing four parks in one day. You lie. You don't like actual rides. Oh, with actual rides? Yeah. Oh, fancy. Because we got a couple of Mickey Premium bars left over, we're gonna see if we can give them away to people that are actually just hanging out in the park. That little boy right there. Or they no, melt. We would, we would love that. Yeah. Or they melt. Enjoy the ice cream. Thank you. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. All right. Glenn in the middle. Yeah, Glenn in the middle. Yes, Glenn. We're taking a picture. <laughs> Allie, where are you? You're right here. Tres, dos, uno. Let's do this! Look at it! Oh. <laughs> nice! Let's take a picture together. Aww. That was so awesome. I love running into people in the park, but she was like, that was that was great. <laughs> Very happy. Now, like I said, Silver Door's mine train. Nate thinks I got this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe with Nate's help. Maybe today will be the day. What if it was? No. No? No! All right, let Nate, Nate try. Try. Right. Come on, Nate. 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 Just because we're VIP does not mean we get the full sword. Not gonna happen. She did it. She did it. Every time. As you can tell. Just because you're on a VIP tour doesn't mean you're gonna pull the sword in the stone. That's just the magic. So here we go. First ride here at Magic Kingdom. Seven Doors Mine Train. What are we doing? Glenn and Sean are going up front row. Oh yes. Kind of got the front. Yep. Whoa! Keep it rocking. Yeah. Keep it rocking. Hey, this is the new rock and roll right here. Oh, there we go. Look at you guys aren't even rocking. You guys aren't even rocking. We're really rolling back here. So some sadness here. Travis's phone fell out of his pocket. 
on Seven Doors Mine Train. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but it was very heartbreaking. I'm so sorry, Travis. It was funny, but not. Oh, boy. I'm so, it, it was so rough. I, it doesn't rain. Oh, <laughs> they said they, they, well, they can't shut down the ride, so he can fill out a lost and found card, and they'll sweep it and bring it up to the front. There's a good chance you might get it back. I mean, I've recovered some amazing things from Disney, oh, but. It might be smashed. Oh, I know. It literally, I watched it happen because he was sitting in front of me, and it, and it just flew. It, it, it was sad. slid right out of his pocket. Right out of his pocket. It does show you that even on a VIP tour, it's just Disney. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. And of all the rides. Seven Doors Mine Train is the one I lose. Not Guardians. Not yeah, <laughs> Seven not Doors Mine Train. Crazy. crazy. <laughs> now we're making our way over to Big Thunder Mountain. Try to squeeze in one or two more rides here. We're getting close. I mean, it's 626. 626, so we only have like 34 minutes left. That's crazy, isn't it? 34 minutes. How does that happen? Yeah. It does go by so fast. Time goes by when you're having fun. Yeah, I mean, but how many rides did we do? Six, seven, maybe? Yeah, I mean. But we did a lot of rides with long queues, yeah, not like, like not the, queues, the, long pre-shows. Pre -shows. Pre -shows. And the we did have a big group. We had yeah. a lot of bathroom breaks, you know. Huh. But it's it's been fun so far. I'm just sad yeah, that it's ending. Stresses, yeah. <laughs> on the phone. It has been a very long time since I was able to do this much, like running around the parks like it's been a long time since i did four parks in one day like it's kind of hard to do especially with park hopping starting at two o'clock now but we're doing it i mean we did it we did it we're doing it here we go big thunder mountain it's happening get to the sidewalk <laughs> walking right through hi thanks well, that is some fancy stuff right there. Like, so <laughs> yeah. Down, yeah it's cool. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Had the best remove them. <laughs> oh, this ride is going to cool me off so much. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Watch out for the goats. <laughs> We're climbing up here. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly! Sadly, I think that was going to be our last ride of the evening. It was so fun. If there was a good way to go out, Big Thunder Mountain is the way. And now we're going to head back out to the front of the park. We might be able to catch one last ride back over to Epcot instead of taking the monorail. So we'll see. Our VIP tour guide told us that we have 18,000 steps in for the day so far. 18,000. Was that your goal? No. Yeah, 20. 20? Gotta oh. go walk around the World Showcase a couple times. Yep, a lap around World Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> 18,000 steps and it was such an extremely hot day out today. Everybody can do a VIP tour different though. So it depends on how you want to do it. But today, I mean, I feel like we got a lot in. We got a lot done. We could have rushed around a little bit more, but I like the fact that we took it nice and slow and relaxed a little bit. And it was fun. But like I said, one last ride. They're going to take us back on over to Epcot. So that's really nice. At least we actually get to come back through. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell I want it that 
way. <laughs> Our last van. <laughs> you are my fire, the one desire. And with that, our VIP tour is done. We did seven hours and it was so much fun. We did get a lot done, like I said, and at the same time, we did do it at a relaxed pace. We were in a bigger group. Now, I do have to say, if you guys plan on doing a VIP tour, which I'm gonna put all the information in the description below, uh, you should check out the prices, the times, the dates, and stuff like that. Full disclosure, I did not pay for this VIP tour, and uh, I really can't give you a worth it point do you know what I mean but I can tell you I had a lot of fun you know what I mean I had so much fun actually hanging out and just going around and being with friends riding rides my favorite part though was the VIP part of it like feeling like that VIP like very important person and going backstage and riding in the van and doing stuff like that those were my favorite parts I mean riding rides is great but like being behind the scenes is so much like it's, it's such an unbelievable, amazing feeling. And thank you, Glenn. Glenn was a great VIP tour guide. And I would love to do this again. Like, it was amazing. And this is my first time I've done it before, but it was so fun today doing it with a group of friends. Definitely a core memory unlocked and also a great way to return back to Florida. Like, <laughs> so amazing. Four parts one day. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about it? And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.